everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your girl simply why and today i bring you another part of the 100 bay challenge so in the last part i showed you all some updates that we did to amora's home we also went out on a date with mariah but we wound up not even talking to mariah during the date but we wound up talking to von and Cade and making them our bays, our boyfriends so yeah that's pretty much what happened in the last part i did have amora go home with Cade, and before they went to bed y'all know some stuff popped off it is what it is y'all know amora well enough now y'all know her well enough now um so amora and baby girl asha just sitting here watching some tv but i'm gonna have amora potty train asha um, I want Asha to be a one for a little while, y'all. So, y'all will see me every now and again cheating down her movement skill because I just feel like it's so much more realistic when she stumbles a little bit because she's still learning how to walk and still trying to control her balance. And she's still a baby, pretty much, you know? Like, I don't want her to be around here running around, you know? But when we age her up and she gets a little bit older, then, you know, she can have her regular movement skill or whatever. Amora Belly doesn't look that big in this outfit today, but let me see what trimester she's on, actually. Oh, she wants some healthy food. I'm going like, to let her go get her crave food. Uh, she's still in her first trimester, but I think only for 23 more hours. After she finishes potty training Asha, I am going to go have her get her great food. Oh, she's just going to leave right now. Okay, well, the babysitter will be on her way, y'all. Like, we're watching her. Now I heard you and Devon started dating. That was so long ago, Jenna. What are you talking about? Y'all, okay, so after one episode, I forgot what episode it was. Why did Asha make this little hamburger from her little food set? Like, I had her do the pretend cook. And she made a little hamburger, like a little Krabby Patty. It's so cute. I love the fact that they keep sending the Sami here. I don't know if that's, maybe that's just how it will be until she fires her. But I love that. I don't love the fact that she keeps cooking random stuff, but... It is what it is. More shouldn't be taking that long. I think I might leave Asami here with Asha and have Amora and Valentino. Or no, we're going to have Amora go out by herself today. No, you're not going to go put her hamburger away. Um, Let me see how her needs are. They're pretty good. Let's have her take like two power naps. It's still pretty early. And then when she wakes up, she can use the bathroom and she can have a quick meal let me see did i pass it yeah she's gonna grab a quick meal and i'm gonna have her grab some yogurt that sounds fine and then I'm gonna have her go somewhere. We're gonna travel somewhere. So. Let me go ahead and set that up. So we're gonna travel somewhere, but I will see you guys wherever you decide to go. All right, so before I could even finish her nap and stuff and getting her ready, Kay just invited her on a date to Hooter. So of course we're gonna go. This turnaround time was quick because they were just together the day before and he was already inviting her out on the other date. It's crazy. All right, so they just pulled up to Hooters. I believe this is a build by Sierra the Simmer. But we're going to have them go inside and request a table. So I think I kind of want to get them a booth. So let's request this table right here. Y'all know, even though she's on a date, I'm scoping out the place to see if there's anyone else that could potentially you know could potentially become another bay it's 
speaking of bays, I want to see where she's at with how many bays she has. Four, eight, 12, 16. 16 bays. Okay. So we're not even a quarter of a way there, but we're going to get there. Let me see. Okay. Cade's coming inside. I don't think I really see anybody else worth really talking to unless I give somebody a makeover, but. Let's just go ahead and order for the table. Okay. Here's a little eye mask. Let's stop and do the soda. Oh, wait. Can I, I want to answer the call? Let's see. I've called to inform you that your great great grand second wish removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? So, under what conditions? Okay, $2,500 period. Oh, very clever. Well, there were some conditions, but one of the conditions was there would be no conditions if you asked if there were any conditions. So there are no conditions. Wait, right? Listen, we'll always take some extra money. So let's go ahead and order for the table again. Caleb looks like he madly in love with Amor. Sir, we just met you. It's not that deep yet to have them let me see so Amora is just gonna have we'll just get her some water let's just get her some water and I'll get Cade will get a drink so he will have a whiskey sour And then for food, Kate is going to get the fried chicken drumsticks. And Amora is going to get the fried chicken wings. So let's see what is going on with him. First, let's ask for some money because, again, why not? And then let's see, you know how his day is. Who well, should we be petty? Ask how his family is. Like, sir, how's the wife? How's the kids? <laughs> I mean, Amora really can't talk. She got a whole child and then a whole baby on the way. Like, oh, I'm gonna play some ping pong. They're gonna order their food, play some ping pong. Can you tell us how the family was? Let me see. It's nice to hear that everyone is doing so well. Maybe I should go visit them sometime soon. Okay, Amor, you're being real petty. You better not go see his wife and kids. That's real petty. <laughs> Seriously petty. All right, so they're about to sit here and play some ping pong. So let's see how it goes. I don't know if they can't play. Okay. So that's not gonna work. Anything else for me to do here? Not really. Oh, let's take a picture. Let's get the wings in the background. Yes. Oh, Amor has to use the bathroom. Yes, we use the bathroom. Oh, our food is already out. It's perfect. I don't know why Kate is like sitting over here by himself. And then he's not even eating his food, but don't worry because Amor is gonna go smash her. She can't use the bathroom. Let me just cheat this up a little bit. I don't know why she didn't use the bathroom. Let me just control him really quick. So he can at least. Let me see. Oh, not Valentino. Takes her talking about she heard he be she became pretty good friends with Cade. First off, they are a little bit more than friends. And they are on a date right now. Listen, I don't think Kane would be too happy about that because he is really feeling immoral, so oh, he can't get to his food. Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye. Don't call me ever. Sir, did he see the text from Valentino? Like, are you upset? You didn't even eat your food. 
It'll be all right. I'm gonna have a more finished faucet installing. So I found a ring in Joy's bag. Joy is Jade's mom, y'all. Jade is one of Amora's babes, okay? I think she's gonna propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no. Just say yes. Why not? I got scared because I'm like, did I have Dawson and Amora ever do anything? Like, ooh, I got a little bit nervous. I was like, Lord, is he about to ask her on a date? Like, this date just right there. So how come they can play ping pong, but we couldn't? He's playing ping pong with one of the freaking waitresses at Hooters. It's so tight. Listen, Amora's day is not over yet. I'm gonna have her go use the bathroom and she's gonna end the mail and pay for the bill. I really wish, like, like I said in a previous video, that the Sims could really, the Sims team could really, like, make it make it optional where whoever you're out to eat with or whatever you guys could there's an option to split the bill like however many different ways maybe like starting from teen and up if you're a teen and up you should be able to split the bill with anybody in that anybody in your party especially if they're from different households like a little window should pop up like when you click on the table you should get the option to maybe split the bill in mail and split bill you know and then a window should pop up and it should have the sims for you to cook um it should have the sims for you to select where you can choose who you want to split the bill with and then i'm gonna have a more travel somewhere else why not but yeah you can choose the sims who you want to split the bill with and wait she hasn't used the bathroom yet sami's calling oh gosh what is going on Hold on. Not they want to try for a baby. Okay, just try for that baby girl. I'm already in attached to nobody for real. Um, but yeah, give you the option to split the bill with anybody that's at least a teen, a teen and up. And then if it comes from different households, like you should only be charged whatever portion was for your meal or whatever, or however they split the bill. And then they should also give you the option where when your sim is done taking a shower, a little window should pop up where you're able to choose what outfit you want them to like come out the shower in. Or you could like when you click on take a shower, you should be able to choose what outfit you want them to step out the shower in. Like I feel like those are little updates. And then obviously everybody doesn't feel the same way. So they can have it in um, the game settings where you can turn those switches off if you're someone that doesn't care you know but yeah just some just some minor up, updates but yeah since Cade want to act like that it's like he really took a more to who to just because he wanted to look at the girls but when you want to act like that sir we can really just travel somewhere else and that's what we're about to do like so i'll see y'all whenever we get to the next place yeah we ended up at this pool i feel like i haven't taken any of my sims to this pool so why not i'm hoping that a lot of sims show up i'm gonna have a more change to one of her bathing suits i remember this from the first episode this little sim suit looks real cute and then she is pregnant so it's real crazy i want more than just kids show up i had to look at the lot traits because it seemed like for a second, it was just uh, kids showing up. More is just enjoying a relaxing back mode. I might have her come take a little nap over here. I'm waiting to see if any other Sims show up. Cause that would be Asami. What is up, girl? How many babies y'all trying for? Cause she already asked before I started recording the video, and she asked why we on the date, and now she's asking. Like, I feel like she just trying to be petty. Like, she probably like, okay, Amor, you really haven't been hitting me up. So I'm about to keep texting you on some yes, because that's really what it is. Why does Amor care if you try for a baby? Like, she doing a million other things, but I'm just saying, like, she keep texting her. She even texted her that three times. 
at this point, you're just trying to be petty. If you miss Amora, just say that. Like, just say that. I think I'm about to hop into Cass and give him a little makeover. Alright, so this is Mason. I just did his swimwear because this is the only outfit we really care about seeing him in right now. I didn't do too much, y'all. I, I was not trying to spend too much time because we're already in like the later part of this. Uh, we're already in like the later part of this part. So, we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to him. Just do a funny introduction. And then let's see what's up with Mason. Why not? I already know. Good friends already. Amor has a really good reputation, that's why. So her relationships are building so fast. Let's ask him if he's single. Do we really care? No. We just do that for formality. Like, <laughs> let's just find out why not. But it really won't matter because even if you were or weren't, like, it's going to be the same result, you know? So, I'm going to compliment his appearance. Oh, this is getting darker. It's going to be real cute. Are they going all the way out here just to talk? I guess they were like, let's get away from these kids and let's have a real adult conversation. Like, Mason, you're not slick. You're not slick trying to get her out here. But well, apparently that's what she's trying to do too. Exchange numbers, but they already have their first kiss. They had their first kiss and then now they're exchanging numbers. Like, what? Like, um... Ask him to be our boyfriend. Amora is just she loud and proud with baby bump and all. Like it's not gonna stop her. I'm gonna have them take a picture together. Okay, Mason. We see you, Mason. We see you, Mace. Okay, <laughs> gotta give him a nickname. We see you, Mace. <laughs> all right. Let's ask him for some money because he's not safe. Seriously, no one's safe when it comes to more. Like, she only get her money, but let's ask him a risque question. Amor, she never ceases to amaze me. It just doesn't take much for you, huh? Before they start, because this is a perfect time for me to throw this in there, I totally forgot to tell you guys at the beginning of this part. But what I am thinking about doing, okay. So you guys know about my 18 and up series on patreon if you don't know about it i'm telling you about it now um i have a stripper series called strips to riches that i post on patreon you do have to pledge to my highest tier which is only three dollars a month but it does grant you full access to those videos and we do everything we show everything we don't have to block anything it's completely uncensored raw and uncut um like stuff that I can't show on YouTube. So I already have that going on on my Patreon. What I was thinking about doing, which I am going to start. So you know how Amor gets into some things. We all know. Or even in the Hyatt, they get into some things. Okay. Well, y'all know I can't show it on YouTube. So I either wind up blocking it out with an emoji or I just cut the scene completely out of the video, right? What I'm thinking about doing is for my $1 tier, just to give people a chance to see that type of content, but maybe like the $1 tier is testing it out before you pledge the $3. So I'm thinking about on my $1 tier is posting deleted scenes from my YouTube videos, like what I can't post on YouTube. Take those scenes and post them on, um, Take those scenes and post them on Patreon. So what I will start doing is instead of just covering them up with any 
emoji. Like I know some of y'all probably like the little glimpse or like the little taste. I don't show the full thing, but I give y'all a little taste and then we go on to the next part of the video. Well, instead of doing that now, I will completely just cut it out of YouTube. And for people that are interested in seeing 18 and up stuff, as long as you're 18 and up, um, you all can go over to my Patreon and I'll have the deleted scenes for my $1 tier. So all you have to do is pledge $1 a month and you'll get access to all the deleted scenes from my YouTube video starting now and going forward. Um, and if you pledge $3 here, you'll get full access to an LP that I have going on that is just an 18 and up LP. Um, for my $2 tier, I'm still working out the kinks and what I can give to people my two dollars here but yeah i'm thinking about that and i think that would really work so that way people on youtube if y'all not interested in seeing that type of content and youtube is strict anyway so i really can't show too much y'all can just go over to my patreon so that way if you're not interested boom stay on my youtube watch the videos thank you for supporting me thank you for watching liking commenting i appreciate y'all but then the people that want to see a little bit more that are of age 18 and up can go over to my patreon and still get that content that they want to see so going forward like i said i will be completely cutting the whole entire scene out of my youtube video and if you want to see the deleted scene i will have it on my patreon so for example for this one it would say deleted scene and i'll probably have like a more in mason in parentheses so you guys know which scene it is because she may woohoo with multiple people in one episode so i'll have their name in parentheses and i'll say 100 big challenge number 25 because this one number 25 so that's how it will be so you know exactly what scene you're watching before you click on the video but yeah so i'm gonna record this for my patreon and if y'all are interested go check it out but obviously i can't put it on youtube so i'm sorry about that but yeah i just wanted to put that in there all right y'all so all three of them just got finished doing what they do um like i said if y'all want to see the deleted scene of what they did be sure to check out my patreon i will link the video in the description box or like the link to the post so that way y'all can just easily click from here go to my patreon you have to pledge at least a dollar but it will give you access to the deleted scene and all the deleted scenes that I post. Um, well, okay, how about this? For the $1 scene, for the $1 tier, I'll post some of the deleted scenes, right? You'll get some of the deleted scenes. You won't get every single deleted scene. But for my $2 tier, I'll post all the deleted scenes. And then for my $3 tier, you'll get the full LP, a whole separate LP that I have going on plus all of the deleted scenes okay so that's what i'll do um but as you can see amora had a great time she is sweating there in the background doing whatever they do look at her face you can just tell that she had a really good time but yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed this part i know i did make sure you like comment subscribe and share my videos don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you never miss out when i post thank you all again and i'll see you video